Hi, my name is Kyle. I'm the lead server technician here at servermonkey.com. Today we're going to take a look at the HP DL360 G5, which is a Generation 5 server to help you better understand its hardware and capability functionalities. Looking at the front of the HP DL360 G5, you'll notice there's a lot of different features on the front panel. Starting on the left, you'll see that this tag right here can pull out, which will see the serial number and a service tag for this particular unit. Scrolling through the front, you'll see the hard drive closeouts. These are simple caddies that are inserted in the server right now to control the airflow. A hard drive with actual hard drive caddy can be inserted in here. This unit can hold up to six hard drives, and there are two and a half inch SATA or SAS capabilities. Coming onto this side of the server, you'll see we have the optical drive at the top, which can be CD-ROM, DVD rewriter, set up to your preference. Down here we have one USB embedded, one VGA port, and also this pulls out right here, which is an indicator panel to show how the system is running, if there's any power supply issues, um, if it's running over temperature, and any critical errors that the server may be encountering at that time. Removing the top panel of the DL360 G5, you simply push down with your thumb, the panel will slide back, lift straight up, and remove it. Looking inside the unit, the first things you're going to see will be these two heat sinks, which will simply unlatch, and they can be removed in order to install your CPU. This unit can ha uh, house up to dual core or quad core 5400 series uh, processors. Looking on this side, you'll see a small air baffle. This can be lifted up, and underneath will reveal the RAID. The RAID that's installed in this unit is a 512 megabyte, which will control the hard drives, which goes straight to the back plane. Another option for the RAID will be a battery, which can sit right here, which is a backup cache battery, which is not installed in this unit, but it will sit here and run to the back plane also. Looking at the DIMM slots on the DL360 G5, you'll see that there's eight and this unit itself is capable of housing up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. On the back side of the DL360 G5, you'll see a, a numerous variety of ports. Starting from the left side, you'll see the ILO port, which is integrated lights out feature that HP has. You'll see two embedded USB ports. You have a serial port, standard VGA port, also two PS2 for your mice and keyboard ports, and two NIC ports. Above all these ports, you'll see the two PCI slots, which, we can, which are being housed from the inside of the unit. On the right side of the server over here, we have two power supplies installed. One is a redundant, which is an optional function of the server. These can simply be installed in a matter of seconds. If a redundant power supply is not an option you need, we also have filters that will control the airflow of that. Thank you for stopping by and taking a look at the basic features of the HP DL360 G5 rack mount server. If you need any more information or have any questions in regard to this particular unit, please contact us at www.servermonkey.com or call us at the number you see below on the screen.